it's time for the Bikeade 8 inch new version review. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in today's video we are going to talk about the Pikeade 8 inch edition. It's already assembled, so we're going to do a little bit of an overview and testing and I'm going to show you what are you going to get. Stay tuned! When you're buying the Pikeade, this one comes in a kit, so this means you need to build it yourself. I made a full tutorial building video. So if you're interested in this, check it out. Here I'm going to show you how to assemble this little mini mean arcade machine. Here at the front we have six buttons and a little joystick. The six button is, let's say, more than enough if you want to play the games from... Let's... Alright, let's take a closer look at the control panel. Here we have the joystick. I must say, it's really clickish. It's more like a wiggle stick. But we're going to test out if it's very responsive. We have in here six buttons. They're not compared with Sanwa buttons, but they feel okay. Here at the front, we have in two extra buttons. I remap these for entering coin or select and start. Here at the left side, we are finding another button. Same quality like the buttons we have in on the control panel. You can remap let's say for maybe a pinball game or something. At the right side we are finding two buttons, just the basic arcade button and the other little button, this one, here you can just easily shut down your Raspberry Pi. A very awesome extra feature. At the back we are finding the control panel for the monitor itself. Alright, let's take a close look at the back, remove this back plate that can be easily removed without any screws, just click and go. And at the inside we are finding the Raspberry Pi with the extra PCB board mounted on top. Here we're going to put in all of the cables for the button joystick, so we have control over the Raspberry Pi. And we are finding here a little amplifier for the speaker that is also included in this little PCB board. And here's a small overview of the main board that is needed for the LCD screen. This one gives the power to the LCD and for your signal input. What I really need to point out, and it is very important, the Pi case doesn't have a Raspberry Pi included. So keep that one in mind, and also Raspberry Pi power supply. You need to all buy this separately. You're just buying the case itself. All right. Um, the Raspberry Pi is very multi-platform support, so you can add whatever you want to it. It doesn't matter. It's got a wide range of support from MS-DOS up to, let's say, the Dreamcast. Not all emulators are configured correctly. Um, there's a lot of messing around if you want to build your own uh, image. So keep that one in mind. What I really love about the Pi K, the sound is amazing. And the screen, it's only 8 inches, but it's the 4x3 ratio. And yeah, it's just great, very colorful.
So for the final conclusion about this pie cake, um, I really love it like a project. Keep that one in mind. If you're buying this, you need to buy the kit, you need to buy the Raspberry Pi, uh, you're going to need to buy a separate power supply for it. So the kit is not providing this, keep that one in mind. The buttons itself, they are very responsive and giving you this arcade, yeah, let's say arcade experience. But one thing is also something you need to consider is that building this, you need to have an, let's say, a little bit of an experience with um, Raspberry Pi. You're going to need to um, download the, the packs. Uh, you're going to need to reconfigure everything. So it's not plug and play like a lot of these little arcade machines. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to do more videos about it. If you're interested in the product, check out the link in the description. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye-bye.